So the three body problem is coming to Netflix in March. Very excited. You're planning to write on it for the site. Yes. Because we've talked about this before, the adaptation of this widely acclaimed um, book or series of books from China, right? And so China made their own TV version of this yes. last year. What I just read today is that Peacock <laughs> bought the rights to the Chinese version of the three body problem, and they're going to drop it on February 10th before the Netflix version comes out. What do you think about this? Yeah, so this is, I mean, we're recording on the 9th. This is tomorrow that this is this is <laughs> going to be dropped tomorrow. They just bought it, you know, five weeks before the Netflix version comes out. The Benioff and Weiss, you know, we've talked all about this. I mean, coming out soon. Um, man, th- what a move. I mean, what a yeah. move to do. Th- to just s- stick it right in Netflix's face and say, we're going <laughs> to buy the original Chinese adaptation of this. Um, just so petty and I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hilarious, too. And I mean, I don't know. Are there people out there who kind of aren't paying a ton of attention? Who are like, oh, we're good. I've been hearing about the you know, they click on this one. Exactly. Um, exactly. From what I read, this version, it's been described as ultra faithful to the novels. Yeah. Um, to the level of that being a criticism. Interesting. Okay. I, I have heard that it is, so, this is a text that I've not seen any of the, 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 the Chinese adaptations, certainly have not seen any yet of the Netflix or, but apparently this is a text that is very difficult to adapt. Um, People are concerned, well, maybe not concerned, but curious that Benioff and Weiss, who did a good job adapting the Game of Thrones text that they had, yeah. not the makeup part, but the not text. The napkin, they had. So much. No, like, not, they not, not, the napkin, so much. They struggled with the guys that know it's not a napkin. Yeah. But. Um, that these may be the right guys to, to do it. But apparently, you know, I don't know what I've gotten myself into right with this. Apparently, this is a very complex, multi generational, multi. Uh, even sort of century story that um, is very sci-fi, very technical, very um, you know techno mumbo jumbo. We're gonna have to be a lot of things you have to really pay attention to to grasp what's going on. Sounds cool to me. You'll do fine. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> fine. but anyway, you know, yeah, as you say, maybe it's a little bit petty on the part of Peacock. On the other hand, it seems like this adaptation is significantly different. It's also in Chinese, so if you yeah, want to watch yeah. this, you know, like watch it with subtitles. One could, in theory, watch both, I suppose. But you know, <laughs> I, I do think it's amusing because they're clearly also trying to ride the waves of the promotion for the Netflix show. Yes, you know? very, um, very clearly. Just oh, I thought this was coming out next month. I guess it's out now. I'll go check it out on Peacock. Well, and like Netflix didn't think about this. They they didn't want to right nail this down and and buy the rights to this again. I recall. I was a little bit confused when I first saw something about this coming out last yes. year. I was like, wait, wait, what? what the three body problem? That's that's not coming out yet. And then oh, I was like, oh, this is the, it's the up, different yeah. version. This is this is airing in China. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Um uh, fair enough. I, I might just check it out for sort of source material ahead of the ahead of the Netflix version. But uh, hey, I mean more more content the better, I guess. 